Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. So, a jumper update. So as you probably guess from the title, it broke. My beloved jumper T16 broke. And if you're wondering by the title, why do I still love it as much, if not more? It's because of the fact this broke. So the scroll wheel, a lot of people have issues with this. And when you buy one now, if you can get an older one, they've replaced a the centre pin in here with metal. You're going to see after we've done this short video, I videoed me fitting this. The camera works not the best in the world, I do apologise. But I did a short video of me fitting this to show how easy it was and the difference with the new one. So you'll see the new one. It's obviously fitted now. But yes, it broke on a Sunday. Uh, I emailed Jumper on the Sunday afternoon. And by the time I woke up on Monday morning, I had a response. And the response was, really sorry about this. They sent me some contact details of technical support, whatever it was, and told me if I needed to contact them again to use this. But if I contacted the supplier I bought my radio off in the UK, he would have one in stock. And send me one. So, it was a quick response. So I went later on, I phoned Hobby RC UK. Uh, who are fantastic by the way. I rang them straight away they knew what I wanted and they put me one in the post It's now Wednesday and I fitted it So the reason I'm saying I'm quite happy about it is because I did not know what customer support would be like I did not know how easy it would be to get this bit replaced if I needed to and I didn't know what happened if I had an issue with the radio But the fact that they got back to me that quick and Hubby RC UK had the part was brilliant If you go onto Facebook and you look at the forums on this thing you'll get people slagging it off saying you won't be able to get bits, customer support are garbage. They've never even owned one. So how can they experience what the customer support was like? I speak as a find. You know me on my channel. I'll happily give someone grief if they need it. In this occasion, they were fantastic. Can't fault them. And it's given me even more confidence than I had in the radio. I'm not bothered. This broke. I knew it was probably going to happen because everybody else had an issue. And I was lucky mine didn't go after so many flights. I'd flown a lot of time on this. I was setting a model up on Sunday, a plane. And I was setting up... Uh, some tub trim on it and as I went to adjust the sub trim it's not it just fell inside so I'm gonna leave you with the video that's coming up to show you what I did to fit it how hard it was and it isn't and now I'm gonna go back and adjust the sub trim on my plane have a fantastic day so we're gonna replace the broken roller so this is the new roller that's come and as you can, well, you'll see when I text in bits, but it's got a metal pin there. The original one is made of plastic, and that's what's causing the problem. So we're going to fit that. So I hope I don't get too much in the way of the camera. I apologise if I do. So really simple to get into to this. Pull the side pieces off. They literally just pull off dead easy. There's no glue holding them in or anything. So we need to pull those off, and then there are six screws. One in the top here. Make sure you obviously don't lose any of those. They're really easy to get in bits. You'll see them when you get inside, it's very well laid out inside, so there's nothing really to get too worried about about taking one of these in bits. Everything's very much plug and play inside here. There isn't a lot of wires, it's all ribbon connectors. The only thing you'll see when I get inside here, I have already disconnected the ribbon connector to the roller because I took it in bits the other day to see if there's anything I could bodge it to do a temporary bodge on. But I didn't need to because of this fast delivery of the part. Take out the module. Take out the battery. It's tight and the back of the tool is quite tight in this, it's quite like that so it doesn't rattle about. So we take that out and then if you look on the top there's two screws that held in with allen keys on the top. We need to take them off just on the right side. Never this. Must be this one. I think it had the right side at the beginning. If we take these off, 
Obviously don't forget to take these off, don't try and pull it apart. And then the back will lift off. There's nothing else holding in the back. So here's the ribbon connector there that's going to the board. You can see that. This is the board. I don't know if it's in focus now. I'll say what, let me zoom in. I think it'll be easier now if I zoom in to see what we're going to do. So this is the board here we need to remove. This is where the wheel is. You can see I've already removed the ribbon connector. So that ribbon connector simply slots in there. We need to undo these three screws. And this is the wheel so this is as you can see this one has a plastic end on it there it's broken off so this is where it goes it slides into this potentiometer here into there and then it rests on this on that camera there it slides in here and then it rests on that there let's get the new wheel so it'll only go in one place there you go so it's made a connection there and as you can see, it's now metal, so this pin should not break again. Let's just take these screws out. So this is simply a matter of putting this back in here. And just actually we take these screws all the way out. Make sure you've been connected back out of the way. Drop it back into the holder. ribbon connector out of there and then the one last screw here it really is a quite easy job isn't it there's nothing difficult about this the fact that I got it so quick really impressed me so so just turn it back round make sure the wheel is working still back out again So now make sure your wheel's working and it's clicking. Now before, if you push down the top you could feel movement, you can't anymore. So that's fixed that. And then the ribbon connector just slides back into here for the blue piece. Slides into there. If I let me pause it when I get my glasses. The joys of getting older so you just push that into there like i have there and push down on the plastic there and the ribbon connectors back in place and all we need to do now is put the back back on and i'll show you it working so i'm going to pause it when i put the back back on because you're not going to be bored watching that bit so as you can see the back's all on got everything back in reverse order was dead easy just put the six screws back in put these uh, rubber covers on plug that back in plug your battery back in Let's just turn it on. And as you'll see, it's now working. So everything is now back working as it was. Excellent. So nice quick repair. And now I've got the metal pin in there. So shouldn't have to worry about it in the future. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day.